Well, you can tell the sound of a ringer. The good old fashioned sounds of backyard fun. Three ringers, three. You get two ringers each, it's four dead. That's what we yell out, four dead! For the McBean Lincoln Horseshoe Pitching Club. Reach for the stake and follow through. It's clank after clank. Me and the guys pitch almost every evening out here. Once the sun goes down. Toss after toss, each with their own unique pitching style. Types of throws are a turn shoe, a one and a quarter turn shoe, one's a flip. Now the horseshoe's known to bring good luck, but you need a little bit more than luck to throw a ringer. I say horseshoes is very simple. All you have to do is get a ring, a, a, a shoe around a stake 40 feet away. And the stakes are even higher this week as the crew heads to the world championships in Winnemucca, Nevada. It's a fierce game. I mean, it's, an, it's, a, it's a game of uh, being able to master yourself and, and mechanics. Very tough. The, the world champion average is about 85% ringers. My entering average is, is 60.5, so I got a little work to do to catch him. But with a championship resume, they're no strangers to the pressure in the pit. Well, I grew up with it as a little kid, starting uh, when I was nine years old, and uh, I've been with it for 50 years. I was a 1973 junior world champion. I've uh, been state champion a couple of times. Skills and stamina that helped champion a Guinness World Record just last year. The record was 24 hours. Um, you know, we thought we were going to go 30 hours, but we did 24 hours, 15 minutes, and three seconds, and it was, it was just, it was rough towards the end. <laughs> One check off the bucket list. <laughs> In Lincoln, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.